Welcome to this video on customizing CardPoint. We're going to go over how to run transactions in the virtual terminal and how to store customer profiles within CardPoint. Once you've logged in from the virtual terminal screen, you'll simply start by typing the name of the customer, which by default is the only field that's required. The little asterisk next to the field denotes a required field. If you have the billing address, you'll type it here. And if you wanna email a copy of the receipt, you'll need to gather the email address, type it in here and check the box to email a copy of the receipt to the customer. To enter the credit card number, just come over here to the mock credit card image and enter the card number, the three digit code on the back of the card and the expiration date. Before you enter the dollar amount of the transaction, you'll notice an option to check this box here that says store customer profile. This gives you the option to store the customer profile into the Card Connect servers, which means that you are completely removed from the liability of storing any cardholder data on your own servers, which is the way that you want it to be. Then you'll come down and type in the dollar amount of the transaction and click process transaction. Once you've stored the customer profile into the vault, you can pull up that customer profile in the future by simply coming to the search box field above the mock credit card image and searching for the customer or company name. You'll see that the search bar auto suggests fields matching what you're typing. Once you see the profile that you want, just hover your mouse over it and click on it and all the customer fields populate for you to run the new transaction. One more thing to note is that if a customer of yours has two cards that they want to put on file with you, you can add a second card to their profile just by clicking add a new card and a new blank field will come up for you to enter the fields. Once you've filled out the new card information, it'll store that card in association with that customer and ask you to set a default card for future purchases or future billing plans, which is covered in another video. In order to make the store customer profile field a default setting, here's what you need to do. Click on the administration tab on the right side of the top menu bar. And when the sub menu loads, click on the virtual terminal tab. Then find the store profiles by default field and check it and then be sure to save the changes down at the bottom. When you click on the virtual terminal tab again, you'll notice the store customer profile option is automatically checked. So that's how you run transactions and store customer profiles in the CardPoint virtual terminal. If you haven't set up your CardPoint account yet, follow the links in the description to set up an appointment with myself or another specialist. And be sure to like this video. I'm Brian Manning and thanks for watching.